Thank you. Now we all get those unknown numbers calling our cell phones, but when a Milwaukee mom answered one, she was pulled into a scheme with a storyline so convincing that days later she's still trying to wrap her mind around what happened. Here's consumer investigator Kristen Byrne. It's still so fresh. Amy Meyer and her fiance Matt of Milwaukee never thought answering an unknown number would give them the biggest scare of their lives. Well, I could hear this girl crying, you know, help me, mom. It sounded like it sounded like my daughter. Amy was convinced the woman on the other end was her 23 year old daughter, Emily, who lives in Texas. They knew her name. My name, they knew where we live. They knew your phone number to call you. They knew, knew she had a new car. The cry sounded so desperate and real and terrified. Amy says a man got on the phone and told her Emily witnessed his drug deal in a grocery store parking lot in Texas. He told Amy he kidnapped her. Well, I grabbed her and she's in the back of my truck and I'm terrified that she is going to testify against me. Oh my God, I may never see her again. Another man called Matt separately. The couple says they didn't have a second to call 911. He took control of the call so, so well and had us both separated. Before moving on with this story, we want to assure you this was not real. Police and the FBI would later tell the couple they were victims of a phone scam. It was the start of what would be more than an hour long ordeal involving fear tactics, threats and ransom money for what they thought was an actual kidnapping. You were silent yeah. for longer than two seconds they were yelling and screaming and they so, wanted you they wanted to make sure you were there on the phone talking to them at every second in a panic matt wrote down what he was instructed to do drove to this walmart in franklin used a money gram and wired about 800 dollars to mexico that money the couple never saw again their daughter by the way was totally fine at her job in texas unaware of the drama unfolding. Did you ever think that you would fall victim to this type of scheme? No, no, absolutely not. Um, no, we're pretty skeptical of people in the first place. So you what part the, about this was different then? It the sounded phone. like her. It uh, sounded like Emily. The FBI shares criminals behind these extortion schemes go to great lengths to keep you on the line and will try and prevent you from contacting the supposed kidnapped victim. The FBI says the best thing to do is to hang up the phone. Since the call, Amy realizes there were so many red flags. She says fear paralyzed her from thinking clearly. There's still a part in my mind that has it recovered. The couple reported the crime to the FBI. They wanted to share what happened to them so it doesn't happen to someone else. Even now, days later, I can still remember the voice and it sounds like Emily in my head. For the I-Team, I'm Kristen Bird. Wow, that's just awful. Can you imagine that, uh, somebody calling your parents and doing something like that? Uh, looking a little deeper into this, the data from the FBI shows victims lost almost $470,000 last year in reported extortion schemes. That's just here in Wisconsin. The criminals and those that are engaging in these scams they use different type of technology and they can use even different type of recordings uh, for people to think that uh, their that uh, their loved one is being kidnapped. The FBI's Milwaukee office says these criminals are sophisticated, making these cases hard to investigate. Yeah, often their phone numbers can't be traced and if they're overseas working with law enforcement in different countries only makes it more challenging.